All right, a little demonstration purposes. I put my stuff, my garlic, in a cage right here. That's a little picture my son drew. <laughs> I don't know why he drew New York. It's his DNA. But anyway, uh, Israel really about to be in that boy DNA, but we go there. We get that. Anyway, point of matter is, uh, put the garlic in here, in my little cage, put the top on, all right, put the garlic in there, have the top on, all right, you can see it dripped out, so what I did was I put it on, turned it on for about 45 minutes, um, I ended up turning it off after about 30 minutes, maybe 33 minutes, so from now on I'm just going to start it with 30, 34 minutes. 32, uh, 33 minutes is good. Put my garlic in there. Started dripping out. When it started really starting to drip and them oil started coming out, I stopped it. So this is the garlic. All right, you see it starting to started dripping from that edge right there. So this is one open. So what I did was got it out. You see it, it's, it's completely soft right now. Uh, let's see if I can get this with one hand. Okay, so got that completely soft, and then all you gotta really do is just squeeze that stuff out, squeeze it out. There you go, get a little focus. All right, squeeze that out, and then you left with the garlic goodness that roasted garlic goodness goodness <laughs> you know I'm all about that flavor you gotta deal with that flavor so got that garlic goodness so then what I did was I took that garlic goodness wipe my finger off right there real quick took that garlic goodness and then I mashed it all up when I mashed it all up right I put some Hold on, let's see if I can get it real quick. I'm out now. But I put some, it don't have to be Wesley Farms or nothing, but I put some pink Himalaya sea salt, all right? I'm out now. I got another container though, full. But anyway, um, put some pink Himalaya sea salt. Grounded that down together with a little oil. Then, took that grind together with a little oil, put it in my jar. Make sure you put enough salt to have this stuff seasoned. Then, from there, what I got is essentially a garlic oil slash paste with roasted garlic and, and pink Himalayan sea salt. So right now, this right here is delicious. Delicious. Like, I'm not suggesting you uh, eat oil or nothing like that, but you can put your stick in Mix it around. This is just a, uh, this just a chopstick. You get one of them free at the spot when you buy your Chinese uh, some 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 uh, sushi in the store. But anyway, right here, put your stick. You can just taste it. You can just taste that thing, and it is delicious. So you see, I have way more garlic in there than oil. Cause really, I, oh no, I just spilled some goodness. Just spill some goodness. Alright. So anyway, but I'm going to get this cleaned up. Try to uh, save as much of this as I can. See a little oil there. I'm putting that back in. I'm trying to save as much of that as I can. Uh, put that back in. You see I ain't spill much. It's mostly the oil. But I have more garlic than oil. I just want a little oil in there to keep it uh, substantiated. But anyway, so do that. And then that's where you have your pigs. I'm going to come back. Show you the next part. So, like I was saying, all I did was I added that garlic oil with the paste, some basil, some thyme, and some seasoned salt. Got that thing. Look at that. And what I did was you put the garlic oil with the paste under the skin, inside the cavity all around that thing 
every part that you plan on eating is a part that you plan on seasoning. So you gotta put it everywhere. Put that garlic and stuff under that skin. And then as I go, later on, I'm gonna put a little butter. Baste it in a little butter. Not a lot of butter, but just a little bit. Just give it that, that nice, uh, see what butter does is it coats your tongue. And it leaves the flavor on your palate for a while, even after you're done chewing it. So that butter is going to coat that seasoning all around your mouth and make that thing taste good. It's going to give you that, oh man, like it's just something about that taste. Something about that in your mouth. You know, sometimes you eat something and it's like, oh man, it's like, oh, that flavor is just lingering in me. That, that's what the butter does. It coats that. And it's that with the garlic oil and the butter and the, the herbs, spice, that, that's what's going to do that. And then towards the end too, I'm going to put some fresh cracked pepper. I don't want to put it now because I don't want the pepper to burn. So a little fresh cracked pepper and a little butter. Everything from there is delicious. You know I do that flavor. When it's flavor, it's in your mouth, it's all right, and it's good. <laughs> you know I got to give you that. But I right, take it easy. You're going to go from here and I'll show you the end result. I'm going to do this with a little mac and cheese real quick and we're going to go out on a picnic. And actually, I'm, I'll show you the picnic. You know, that's what we're going to do. So, you got my wife over there. Say hi. <laughs> you know how that go? So, we're going to do this thing. It's going to be right and we're going to go from there. Say hi, kids. Hi. <laughs> now, we back. Got some butter. Some fresh cracked pepper right there. You can see how thick that is. That's fresh crack. I just cracked this pepper. Got some butter. The butter is gonna melt from the heat, from the distribution of the heat through the rotisserie, through the bowl, through the butter. That heat is going through there. So, all right, I'm gonna keep mixing this around. Let that just do what it do. Then, as the butter, uh, basically, um, melt and continue to do what it do giving that nice look at that <laughs> so I'm going to show you the chicken real quick and show you basically as this butter finish up doing it it's only a couple minutes left on the uh, it's only a couple minutes left on the rotisserie but um, that chicken looking mighty fine And I step over here so you don't get no glares like that. Chicken looking mighty fine, smelling delicious with that nice garlic. Look at that. Juice is starting to run clear. Look at that thing. So then, basically, as that finish up for these last couple minutes, butter, see that thing melting right? I'm just going to take some of that butter. And start basting it with a little bit of that pepper. <coughs> Always gotta have a little salt and pepper, you know? Salt and pepper is the basis for just about anything you cook. So, uh, yeah. So basically, I'm gonna mix that around. Have this butter start incorporating into this chicken just for the last minutes. I'm not even gonna baste it with all of this. I'm just gonna, I just want it in there. I just did it quick. Because I started to forget, to be honest with you. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, I gotta do some butter and pepper. So basically that's what I'm doing. So you see that butter mountain? So I'm gonna have basically um, pepper butter compound. I'll show you how to do another com a real compound later where you actually take it and uh, soften butter with a little herb or seasoning and then you reform it into a butter log. I'll show you that another time. But yeah, so basically this is what I'm doing. How that going? And uh, yeah, actually what I might do is, actually I am, I'm gonna put a little bit of that oil, that garlic oil, roasted garlic oil, just to finish it off with that flavor, nice flavor. And uh, and we're gonna go from there. That thing gonna be delicious. That thing is gonna be delicious. So. You gotta strengthen that garlic flavor. You're gonna have something garlic, you gotta strengthen that thing. Make sure people know it's garlic. 
but it has to be a nice garlic if you're going to do garlic or a nice peppery you know what I mean whatever seasoning you're going to do so but yeah I'm going to finish this up man and uh, I'll show you the end result I got the mac and cheese in there or oh, I didn't even show you the mac and cheese recipe I'll show you the mac and cheese recipe another time but yeah got the mac and cheese in there matter of fact I could do this where no, I didn't come on but like no light right now uh, two max I'm probably take that one with us on the picnic and I'll show you the end result got that bacon on a nice 350 come back to this chicken chicken looking delicious and good look at that and I'm gonna show you that finished result three minutes left so yeah Show you that finished result in a little bit. Flavor! So basically, got the garlic here. I added another five minutes to it. Uh, and right now, what I'm gonna do is, as this thing rotate, I don't wanna swipe it. So that's why I'm just tapping it. As it go past, I'm just tapping it. Tapping it. Basting it, basically, in that sauce. So just tapping it. I, I don't want to keep on wipe it hard because I don't want to wipe the seasonings off. So I'm just tapping it and basing it. Go down, grab a little, tap it, baste it. One more time. Go down, add a little, tap it, baste it. So that's what I'm doing. And you see, a lot of it's going to run off and fall off but that's all right you just want the essence the hint of that so that's why you do it at the end one you don't want the pepper to burn two basically you just want to basically kiss it in that stuff kiss it <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to hold this and do it at the same time but you get the point oh man you I know you wish you could taste this thing I know you wish you could taste this thing, but uh, alright, just wanted to show you that, and uh, I'll show you the, the end result later. I ended up basically using this whole thing, but you see most of it is, is coming off, so it's not like uh, a drowned in it.